Welcome back to the bubble, ladies and gentlemen. And today I'm actually going to introduce a uh, new old game. New game for this channel, but a pretty old game in general. I think it came out in 2020. And that is Hold Fast, more specifically Nations at War. You know, I do like my 17th century and 18th century uh, era when it comes to uh, war games. And uh, this kind of combines that but puts it into a fps settings for the ones of you who haven't already heard about it and there are other similar games but i've been waiting or rather looking forward to playing this game quite a lot and i already have played it some so i'm not completely blank on the um on the gaming settings but i was just gonna introduce this game with like one game or something there are a lot of different options from the gaming menu when it comes to uh, settings of portraits and how you want your character to look and how you want uh, him to sound as well and things like that. There are also, there's also a regiment section, which I guess is kind of a guild or a clan option. Uh, leaderboards, settings, store, whatever. But I was just thinking we should go straight into the game. I haven't even played, I don't think, the Frontlines version because it's really the Napoleonic era that I'm interested in. So I'm just going to go straight into that. But actually, we're going to go through the server selection. Worth mentioning here, I will select the nation's uh, game type, is there are different types of servers. And the ones that I've usually been playing is the, I guess, the community ones. And those are usually just plain anarchy. Like, what I wanted to play with this game, what I wanted to do with this game is basically experience the, like, line formation warfare, playing in a group and things like that, to feel what it's like to be an 18th century musketeer in a line formation Cossacks reference. So, what I'm going to do is look for an official one. If we just go through the player amounts, you can see that there are not that many players active on the game. So that's already a thing that's pretty sad, unfortunately. It would be nice to uh, have a variety of different games to jump into. But we have one here at the top, Anvil Game Studios Official. So that is a, uh, yes, it's an official uh, server. And I think that also comes with some specific rules, which makes it a bit more fun to play in compared to just running around doing whatever the heck you want. And that's also the server that has the most amount of players. So let's just jump into this one and see if we're going to wound up, wind up right smack dab in the middle of a game, or if, um, we might actually be in good time for a new one. Uh, selection of faction. Looks like Italy is defending and they have a bit fewer, so I'm going to go with that one. And we have a lot of different, um, like, unit types that you can play. I'm just going to go straight up line infantry for this one. We can also, when you've played enough, select a variety of, like, what your face is going to look like, the uniform that you're going to play in, and also the weapon that you're going to use. And this is the voice pitch I was talking about. If we lower it down, if we put it at the highest... Sounding like he's inhaled helium gas, but we're just gonna lower the pitch a little bit and join the round and see what this is. Okay, so we don't have the, like, we do have one rule if up uh, to the left that uh, if you die, you don't replenish, basically, uh, or you don't respawn right away. I think that's what uh, it's called. But we also, looks like we don't have the rule that we need to stand in line formation, probably because this is a uh, siege battle where we have defenders and uh, it's not a like open field battle, then usually you need to uh, stand in line shoulder to shoulder and that then you will also be uh, following your officer and the banner a lot more. You are running around with a musket. You can also select between different weapons. Currently, I only have the... Um, I should have a sword. I do see it, but I can only select between fists. And the bayonet, and uh, the uh, musket, and I can also select between, now I'm in melee mode, like so, and I can also switch that to uh, be in ranged mode so I can start shooting. If I want to, I can also remove the bayonet, that will give me some better accuracy, I think, but it will also make me very susceptible to melee uh, damage, so I'll actually, um, now that they haven't... Now that they are not uh, through our walls yet, I will actually elect to remove my bayonet as a lot of my teammates already have elected to do. Now let's see if we can shoot something. We have one unit there. Nope, missed it. And now it's reload time. 
this is one thing that is both good and bad, I think, in this game, because, of course, you want it to be somewhat realistic. You don't want to recharge or uh, reload in, like, two seconds. So it is um, reasonable that it takes a while. And here we have a line formation that they want me to fill in. And it looks like we have someone running there. Oh, my Jesus! Okay, I'm on the wrong side of my palisade. There we go. And I also have the entire the um, chat open right now in the voice chat. That's why there are a lot of different sounds. If I were to uh, turn off the voice chat, it's only going to be in-game uh, sounds. If you have the uh, voice chat on, I mean, you can hear a lot of different things. And you can also select if you want to... Oh, Jesus. How many of these are I'm go am I going to survive? You can also select between seeing it like in... I guess this is third person. Or we can go first person. Ooh. Oh, healed 20? Oh, thank you. I got healed by our healer. Like I said, there are different unit types that you can play. I'm actually going to select the uh, third person mode here. It doesn't look like we have that much of a plan, just uh, aim and shoot, but the accuracy is of course very, very bad. You see that little round thing, I think the uh, shot should wind up somewhere in there, but the muskets at this time weren't the most accurate thing. I think it was during the American Civil War when we got the rifling in the pipes that really started to uh, increase, oh Jesus, that really started to increase the accuracy of the weapons, which of course was devastating. Ooh, enemy killed. There we go. And reload. I usually very much like these game modes where I defend, to be honest. Whereas it feels like I'm at the Alamo or something. Um, Billy Bob Thornton movie, I think, from way back. I didn't, don't think that movie specifically got the recognition that it uh, deserved, in my opinion. But that's that. So this is basically the game mode. Now we're just trying to defend. You can see the scores there up on the top. And we have a clock, which means I would guess that... Uh, or actually, I think my allies are the ones with flags, so I shouldn't shoot them. Um, so we just have to hold it for a specific amount of time. And um, the 130 on the Brits, I guess, are the amounts of recruits that they have left. They've taken... They have the A base, we hold the B base... And we just need to make sure to hold. And you can see the minimap down on the left. That basically says where we have enemies currently. But the uh, gunpowder smog or fog is making it very difficult to see. But I also love that detail. Ah! I can't see. There was this little orange thing. If you can't really... Um, if you can't aim in that direction, it's going to be the orange one thing. At the site means that I can't shoot there basically and here we have an officer has drawn a line where he wants us to stand so I will just follow command and die but I actually will be respawning so I think what the thing was up on the left the red one means that uh, it's a time based uh, game mode I think I don't know these things remove the bayonet once again it looks like the time actually increased, or it's following, or it's going to the left until it's fulfilled, I guess. 11 minutes and 30 seconds left. Looked like there was an officer running around there. And shoot something. Yeah! Come on. That was pure luck. I have, there is really no skill for me when trying to shoot. You just try to put the unit in the circle, I guess, and then just pull the trigger. Oh, come on, I need... I might actually need a uh, bayonet here. So I'm gonna apply that. And just take the penalty on... On the accuracy. Ah, uh, and crouch. We also have, of course, a lot of cannons. Uh, here to defend. Which needs to be reloaded, so you need to like carry a ball over there. Um... And that's a detail that I like as well, although it does take a while, but it's good that we can't just absolutely um, s spam cannon fire. That would be ridiculous. If we just activate the chat again. Yeah, that freaking flute thing comes back. And we have engineers, it looks like, that are building barricades for us. And I'm going to try to use that. 
Oh, I think I actually shot one of my teammates in the back. But now we have some range here, so I might want to consider removing the bayonet again. And they are coming from the right, but we have units in that trench to shoot them down. They're also coming from the left. They're coming from all over the place. But so far, it's doing. we're doing all right. And I actually already have two kills, which is more than I usually have, to be honest. But this is the kind of game mode I like, when it's not complete chaos. It, I mean, it is chaos, because there's fog and, and uh, smoke and everything all over the place. But there is some kind of a plan. Oh yeah. Kill streak! Um, and not just a lot of people running around killing each other, because in um, the more public um, servers, it can just be absolutely crazy. People killing teammates and people just uh, trolling around, really um, damaging the gaming experience for all of us. Oh, damn. And we are doing good on time. Let's see. I might want to aim for you, my man. Oh, no. He got cracked. Do I actually see better? I do, but I still can't hit for shit. Oh, Jesus. On the wrong side of the barricade, run back, and continue to reloading. There should also be medics around here somewhere. So far, I don't really see anyone. Uh, usually, you can recognize them by their, like, hats, I guess, depending on which faction. Ooh, I thought that was, that was a headshot. Ooh, thank you. Oh, damn. Just got shot again. But that's a healer right there. And they're running around with pistols, not rifles. Oh, and we are getting overwhelmed. And their engineers are putting up shelters for them as well. That's not good for us. So we would need to shoot that down with cannons or run out with bayonets and just start to attempt to... Um... Oh, the, the cannons have me uh, in its sight. Uh, run over with bayonets or swords and whatnot and just try to cut them down. And that's going to take a while compared to shooting it down with a cannon. But it's still important to get it down. And so far, I don't think... They are in our base. Oh. That is a good line of fire for me, actually. Because the, it appeared to be just a line of units behind that little defensive uh, position. But, like I said, the accuracy of the rifles are not uh, the best. And I keep needing to, like, reset the reload because I get shot. I think my... S so, my stats, seeing as I've only died a couple of times. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Great shot, my man. And there we go. I need the fog to clear, or the smoke to clear. I don't understand how you're able to hit anything in this, like, range. But I guess it's just shooting enough times. Theoretically, you should hit something. Some oh, we have someone over there. Can you kill? Yes. Great job. When you're in uh, melee, I don't cancel... I'm gonna add my bayonet so I can um, show that off as well. When you're in melee, you can block. Block up, block down, block left, block right. So that's also an interesting aspect that uh, we get all of these... All of these one-on-ones um, -on or like duels when, um, when we go into melee. So that's another aspect that I really like. Oh, can't we can't we shoot that guy down? He's so close. I'm not gonna say anything because I'm gonna miss as well. Oh, come on! I did not miss. Pure luck, pure luck. But this is fun so far. It might not be the most fun to watch because I'm just sitting in the same place, just doing stuff. So I might consider running around and selecting a different uh, point of the uh, point of the fortress to defend. Oh, and that was uh, in the nick of time. It appeared as well, because otherwise I would have flown. How's it going on this side? Looks like it's going all right. We don't have anyone manning the cannon, so that's not great. But we are pushing outside toward their base. Actually, let's see if I can help out. Don't want to run that way. We are shooting there. We are shooting from the left. So far we are doing decent, and we don't have that much time left on the timer either. I actually think my, I hurt myself on our own stakes. Okay, here we go. Can I... 
It actually, oh, that was a great shot of the cannon. And we also see a banner over there. I think the banners give some kind of bonuses. Don't really know what, though. Officers and banners and flutes. Because there are, like, musicians as well. That either play trumps or flutes. Or maybe they can be do both. But, um... I think they give some kind of, like, morale boost or something. At least it's much easier to uh, see the line you're supposed to follow. Oh, I shot my own stake. The line you're supposed to follow or the units you're supposed to follow if you also see the flag. Okay, we don't have that much time to hold on here. And in this sense, I mean, when we're just defending, it's kind of like a nice little brain dead thing to do. Just sit here, play... Run off your rounds, doing your best to just defend. Don't need to uh, multitask too much compared to uh, playing Cossacks or anything like that. Just reload and peekaboo. But I think I'm going to shoot my own stake if I run in there. And do we have anyone on this side? No, they are too far off. Can I? Hit him. I cannot. I will not. Looked like someone else got him. The no, he's still over there. And they're gonna push me out to this side. Oh, this is so stupid. This is so, so stupid. We can also select to walk or run. I'm gonna select running. Nope. Couldn't hit that. So now we're gonna reload. And in the meantime, try to juke around. Dip, dive, dodge, dip, and dip, and dodge, and dive, whatever. Oh, damn. Okay, come on. First person. Nope. Missed that one. And got shot. 124 meter. Oh, it might be a cannon. Yeah, cannoneer. So I got shot by a cannon. That happens. It happens. We don't have that much time that we need to defend this one. And what does that mean? An officer has told us to get over here, I guess. Oh, Jesus. And they are coming. No, we are actually on that side. You can see the little line. That means that we uh, that an officer has told us to stand on that line. Oh, damn, that's not a good time for me to run out. You see that they just sent a whole bunch of troops. I killed one of them, though. But now, I... Okay, we might have to go into a melee here. Oh, no. He was way more prepared for that than I was. Maybe I should have gone out with a dodge first, or a block first. Don't have that much time, come on. Just defend! Missed. Your reinforcements have been depleted. Commit your last stand. So now I won't respawn if I uh, if I die or when I die. Come on, just shoot him down. I think we think we got him. But I also think that um, the British troops who are attacking should also start running out of reinforcements. Yeah, sergeant kill. So that's even an officer dead. That must be good for my points, I guess. But some people who play this game is absolutely insane. Rack up like 40 kills with like one death. And I don't even know how to how you do that. But this is going to be my little spot. Shooting down in that angle, I guess. Oh, that's not looking good. A medic is running around. And also I think he knows that he's going to be blocked by the pike. So he won't be able to... Nope, I just shot straight into the stakes. Need to reload, and come on. Yeah, there we go. The bayonets. Oh, and here they come. Come on, please reload, please reload, please reload. Oh, Jesus. Got him. And it was that easy for them to just push through? What the damn hell? And... Okay, I'm gonna have to... Try to help out here. There we go. That's one dead. There we go. Got him. Oh my god. Someone's aiming at me. Oh no. Come on. Dead. Oh no. And I died. So now I won't be able to respawn, right? Respawning in two, one. No, but what we can do is spectate and free roam. Oh yeah. The Brits are pushing us like crazy. We have 20 seconds left to hold, but they are already up here in um, in the top of the house. 
13 seconds. Can we hold for 13 seconds? How were they able to just all of a sudden completely overwhelm us? 8, 7, ah, oh, come on. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. No! Come on. Yeah! <laughs> that was a close one. I think we had one unit left in, uh, in the entire base. So now we can see the scores and how I did. Uh, 9 kills, 4 deaths. I actually must say that I'm pretty um, pretty happy with that result. And now we can go in to select uh, another um, game mode. And I think all of them says Army Battlefield. Which means that we uh, won't be defending anything. But rather we will have, hopefully we'll have these lines formations. Uh, so I can show off some of that as well. So then you will be able to get two different game modes in the same video. Look at that. Grassy Plains 3, large battlefield, I guess. Uh, game tip, limited reinforcements. Okay. Russia or France. I'm actually going to go with France on this one. Line infantry. And I will see what kind of uniform selections I can get. I actually like this ones. This, these ones. The Swedish colors. Let's go with that one. And it doesn't look like we have any of those red icons up at the top anymore. So I wonder if this is just going to be one of those complete anarchy games. Um, if so, then you will see that as well. But all of us are just running to the front line. We have some medics around here. We have some line infantry as well. I think that unit, these units are, um, they're supposed to have like better accuracy, I guess. But they don't have any bayonets. So, do we have an officer who's going to tell us where to stand? If we just activate the voice chat. Pretty quiet on that side. Great. Uh, flag, officer, someone, give us an order. Because right now, everyone is just effing around. So we are going to get one of those games. Chaotic games. Okay, the flag has been planted. This should be good for something. And I missed my shot. Okay, here we have an officer has put down a line, and you see the little arrow there saying that we should look in this direction. So that's what we're going to do. But worth noting is that we have Russians in our rear. Or maybe that's actually French units. And come on. Nope, missed it. Just start. Oh, look at that army of Russians running over the hill. We don't have any uh, points to uh, capture here. So it's just killing the enemy's reinforcements. So that's 500 troops we are supposed to just wipe out. And I'm going to remove my bayonet. I don't see any cavalry coming in here. And also, I'm not quite certain I like... Actually, ironic. That's ours, though. I don't see any units here for us to shoot at. So we should try to go over to that uh, that part or that line. Oh, no. Only one little tree for us to hide behind. And I missed that shot. He was right in the middle of the circle. I don't get it. I don't get it. But playing this game, if you have fun game modes and um, fun communities, it can easily just eat up a couple of hours of the day. But the uh, games are can be quite short as well. Oh, Jesus. Oh, come on. Nope, missed. Ah, run and jump. Rump. Try to dodge everything I can. Oh, and he's coming in melee. He has an axe. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, that axe is brutal. Nice uh, uniform, though. Same one as me. Oh. Howbister shots are dropping down, and we are also shooting rockets from this little ramp. And are we shooting uh, units from that ramp? No. Just using his... Um, not binoculars. What's the English word for that? I don't know. Spying glass, maybe? But I am just running down to my front line again. And this is uh, can be a lot of the game. We do have one spawning point there. That I should select in the respawn menu when I die again. We also have another one 82, 80 meters that way. But 
This uh, is one thing that can make it a bit frustrating with this game. You start from the spawning point and then you run and run and run and run and run. Get one shot off, misses, get shot. And then you run and run and run and run and run again. But it looks like our engineers has done a great job building a form of a defensive spot here. But I do not anticipate that we will get any good hits from this distance. It's way too far for us to have any good, any good hits with our muskets. And we also have a cavalryman right behind us trying to cut down our camp most likely so let's see if we can do something about that um cavalry are pretty gosh darn efficient until you shoot their horse because they are so fast so they can um they can really like surprise you and attack you in the back when you don't really realize it I've never played as um, a cavalry unit because I don't think I would be very good at it. I'm much better just being a basic line infantry unit. Oh, that unit, that soldier was a boss. He, did he just kill two of them? Nope, I missed. Ah! Oh, and he shot me from 29 meters. That's actually a pretty good range to shoot from. It's usually kind of accurate, at least. And, oh, damn, I forgot to select my spawning point. Can I go back into spawning point? Uh, suspect camp, line infantry, join round. And I will respawn in a couple of seconds. The um, the smaller respawn uh, points, where which like engineers, I guess, or officers, someone builds, uh, you can't recruit uh, like an, all of the units from that spot. Um, there's like a limited amount of how many units you can spawn from that one. While the main camp doesn't have that issue. Just hiding behind the freaking tree. The tree is my best friend right now. And I will go into first person mode and see if we can get into a position to shoot something. That could have been a two for one. Oh no, and now I'm gonna get shot most likely. Just trying to walk around, make it harder for them to uh, to aim. But it looks like we have a medic down there, which would be a nice prize to put down. We actually, it looks like we have two medics. Nope, I missed that one as well. And he is he coming in with a sword? Coming in with a pistol, that's for sure. Oh, they are just storming our lines. Good, one medic down, and soon I'm reloaded as well. And I missed again. How is this even possible? Come on. Oh, no. That sword. Will oh, what the hell? He killed like three units. And now I should spawn from the right point. No, I did not. Did they destroy that spawning point? Yes, they did. That's why I couldn't spawn from that one. So now we're back to running. Hope everyone's having a good day, by the way. I'm doing somewhat fine. Still, um... A bit left from the man cold. My voice is a bit weird. My sinuses are clogged the F up. But uh, a lot of the energy is back. Which is great. Look at that. It's so beautiful. Such a big, beautiful map. But now we just have to get back to the front line. And we do see on the minimap that there are some units. That, and also someone just smacked up a camp. So we need to make sure that we uh, protect that one. So we can quickly uh, get back to the front lines. So that's our... Cavalry unit, and we actually managed to kill that um, cavalry unit. Good one. Can we? And boom! Nope, missed it. If anyone knows any tips or tricks on how to aim more efficiently in this game, I am all ears. Oh, damn. And now I need to start reloading again. And most likely that the cannon that shot that ball is all locked in currently. So, um, it's not a good idea to, uh, to stay there. And did we kill that cavalryman? Yes, we did. Great job, lads. And we also have some protectors of the camp. I guess that's their purpose there. Oh, I missed. Go into melee. Can we get a good... Nope. Then I might as well just start reloading. And there we go. We have one drummer. We have two flutes. So we have a little orchestra or a little band going. Great, and I feel my morale increasing dramatically. Nope, missed. Someone did get the um, the rider though, so that's good. 
And if you look at the points, it looks like we have gotten the most kills. And thank you for the heal. Amazing teamwork. And can we get a shot off? Yes, enemy killed! Like I said, I mean, it basically comes down to luck if you're gonna hit or not. It feels like it, at least. Because sometimes you can have the uh, unit just completely occupying the entire scope of your aim. But still, you miss. Or sometimes you get him. I don't know if it's a good strategy trying to hit a moving target. That's why the uh, zigzag strategy is usually pretty efficient, effective in um, avoiding getting shot. Unless you just become too predictable in the... Uh, in the pattern that you use. And can we hit the horse? 10, 10 XP. Great. Didn't bring it down though. But someone brought down the rider. So that's great. And we have another one. Killed as well. It looks like we are in the lead currently. We still have 288 recruits left. Um, and they should be down on. I don't know. Something lower. Theoretically. Unless it's bad that we have a lot of. Um, no it can't be. It can't be. Oh, damn. Come on. Enemy killed. Pure luck. I love it. It feels like we have a pretty good teamwork going, actually. Knock on wood. Oh, the cavalry is coming in from the left. But we managed to bring it down. But we still have another couple of horses running around there. We have one there. Are you? Yes, they brought down the horse. Great. And we are still holding our lines. It feels like they are a little bit less organized than we are in um, their attacks. Enemy killed. Headshot. <laughs> and the guard as well. That was a good uh, little experience bonus for me. Just keep reloading, keep reloading. And oh, that looks like a veteran. And now we are reloaded again. Is there anyone for me to shoot? And... There I missed. So, like, how? I guess you can just do your best, I guess. But it would have been so much more fun if I actually got that shot off uh, and hit. And it landed. Come on. And we have a, a an officer has pointed out a line for us to stand in. And come on. Yeah. Enemy killed. It also looks like it was the engineer that we, uh, that we killed. Which is great. They won't be able to build any more covers. So we need to deny them cover as much as possible. We have our covers. While they need to stay in the open. And it will be much easier for us to shoot them down. Nope. Missed. Am I supposed to like aim more down? I don't know. Oh that's a nice little. Looks like a shotgun musket. <laughs> I wonder if it functions like a shotgun musket. Da, 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 da. Okay, I am way out of formation. I should not be running over here. And Engineer needs to finish that um, little barricade. Missed. Okay, we're going melee, lads. No, we don't. Oh, yes we are. Ah! And can I... Yes. Line infantry from a camp. Great. But no, I actually spawned from the right camp. I don't want to respawn again. Can I get a shot off? Yes, I can. Didn't hit anything, though. I wonder if that also claims a reinforcement from my team if I select to respawn again. Yeah, got him. Got him! Reload. Feels like we are holding the line pretty well and we are still in a good lead. Uh, although we do only have 200 reinforcements left. I don't really know... Can we see how many kills each team has? No. So I don't really know... Um... How well we're doing in the grand scheme of things. But so far it looks like we at least have the point lead. And we have cavalry coming in from over there. Oh we have a lot of units coming in. And I also got freaking nuked by a cannon. This is not good. It feels like we don't have any uh, organized troops here. So they are able to get more organized. They are also starting to build some uh, barricades as well. So we need to get going. And we also need to make sure that our left flank is protected from their cavalry forces. There we go. Got the horse down. And they are... Should be able to bayonet him to death. Come on. You're a four against one. There we go. And there we have even more of them. 
And it looks like it's gonna be bayonet. No, it's not gonna be bayonet. Or is it? I'm gonna try to get one shot off on someone. Yeah, hit him. I don't have any good protection here, though. It only covered, like, my lower half. Oh, cavalry. Can someone... Yes, great job. And also, their cannons have really started to find us. Oh, no. I shot straight into the sandbag, didn't I? Come on. Can someone bring him down? Yeah, there we go. Great job. I'm saying to absolutely no one, because I don't have my voice chat uh, activated. Oop. Oh, cavalry from behind, just like I told you. Now I need to I need to chill a little bit because it feels like I'm soaking up a lot of our uh, a lot of our reinforcement numbers. But we are still in the lead, although yeah, let's just uh keep doing what we're doing and hoping that the reinforcements won't run out because then we're going to get swarmed like we did in the last uh in the last battle. Which was won by the absolutely tiniest of margins. Is that one of us? Yes, it's one of us. Don't really know what I should be shooting at. Can I just cut this down? Hold E. Okay. So I think I got one of their flags. I'm not sure what I'm running around with here. What am I even doing? Okay, I can't attack with it. Can I drop it? Yes, I can. So, okay, that's a flag. Don't know if we should... Can I destroy it? I cannot. Okay. So let's just put it there, and I don't know what that's gonna mean. Oh, it's a... No, it's not a French flag. Right. I don't know if it's better... If it's worse for us that it's this close to our camp, to be honest. So I should rather try running it away. Enemy moving to flank around from the north. And that's the north. Okay, so we need to run over there. Because it could be the case that you need to, like, push the flag up as far as possible. And that would give you more points, maybe? And I got shot from 30 meters, almost, approximately. By Mr. Crowley. Anyone else says anything? Had the orange dot above you? Lol. Uh, 123 recruits or reinforcements left, and we are still in a comfortable lead. Headshotted by a freaking cannon. What are the odds of that? But it happened. 153 meters off. Like I said, their cannons have completely locked in on us now. So this is not a good position for us to be in, because they can just keep reloading and keep shooting, and they will always hit something. Let's see if I can run around if there's a better cover somewhere. We do have a good solid front line there. But I also hear the shots just landing around me. And we also see that they are trying to flank with some of their troops. I'm going to remove my bayonets to increase... Oh, he there they go. And we are shooting rockets in uh, over them. And I think some of them are hitting, which is great. And I'm just going to try to get one shot off. Didn't hit anything. But hopefully at least stress them out a little bit. A little bit. Oh, there we have a... Oh no, that's not good. But I will be reloading faster than him. So if I can just run around and get it into a good position. Yeah, there we go. Ally revenged. Call me the Avenger. The rockets are landing and it feels like we are doing a solid push. Are we out of reinforcements? Next squad spawn. Two minutes left of the game. And I realized that this video became a bit longer than I uh, was anticipating. But this has been a fun game so far. It's always a lot more fun to win than it is to lose, obviously. But now we're also just pushing, pushing, pushing. And I guess the only thing we need to do now is just kill the rest of the uh, Russians. Because their reinforcements are out. There we go. So now it's just hunt them down, basically. And I will actually elect to follow my uh, the bulk of my units instead of running around on my own. Okay, there we destroyed one of their base camps. One of their recruitment spots, reinforcement spots. Can I get a shot off here? 
Oh yeah. Three units in the scope and I actually got the officer. So that was the best possible outcome of that shot. Oh, someone's killing horses for no reason. What the hell? Horses haven't done anything. Okay. It feels like we should have this one in the bag. Come on, keep running. And that's uh, French units, French units, because you see the little flag above them. The enemies, you don't see any flag. And if they're far away, you only see a small little flag. And I wonder if we are all down on like melee now, doing like one on ones. No, we are pushing. 20 seconds left, and we have a victory in the bag to wind up this episode. And it might not be the most fun, there we go, to just watch, like, me running around on a map. But, uh, it's, um, uh, pretty fun to play, actually, especially when you get into an organized, when you get into an organized, uh, community, where not everyone's just trolling around. Now just disconnected to the main, um, menu. So that's, uh, Holdfast Nations at War. Um... I don't know if it's quite worth the like 30 euros. I guess that's a little more than $30 if we're trying to talk different currencies. But 30 euros to pay for that depends on like the community is already, as you can see, pretty small. But when you get into a good, uh, good server, it's a lot of fun to play. And I hope you enjoyed watching it as well. Let me know if you have any experience playing Hold Fast Nations at War. Or if it's a game that you would consider playing. Have a great day and take care. I will see you in the next one.